for now. Hello boys and girls, welcome to the Connacht Skills for Schools Physical Literacy Programme. Today we're going to give you, take you through some running skills and we're also going to give you some skills focus for the grip and swing for hurling. So the first thing we need to concentrate are, are the key running skills. So get up on the balls of your feet, good knee lift, good arm action and get your body tall always looking straight ahead. So let's have a look now at some of the running drills that we're going to do when you go out to the yard. The first one is exercise one is bottle on. It, it's use of the arms and it's a fun game to develop your running skills. So let's have a look. Players are asked to sit upright with hands either side, driving their hands, propelling them forward in a running motion. The second exercise is the high knee lift while running, so let's have a look. Players are asked to run forward, staying on the balls of their feet, keeping their head and back straight and upright. And the third exercise is linear, linear running, so let's have a look. Clear channels are marked out for the players, they're asked to run or sprint in a straight line from marker to marker. Boys and girls, we're going to have a look at the grip and swing, establishing the dominant hand and how to grip the hurley properly and to swing the hurley properly, striking a ground ball. So the first thing you'll do is stand in front of your hurley, turn around three times, and now grip the hurley with your dominant or strong hand. It's normally the hand you write with in school with your pencil or your biro and you hold that up, that's called the grip. From the grip, you drop the hurley into the non-dominant hand, which is the ready position. And then the third part of the exercise is locking both hands together in the locked position, bringing the hurley over your head, ready to strike that ball in front of you. So now, boys and girls, we're going to look at some videos there um, the first one will be on the dominant hand and establishing the dominant hand for the grip for the hurley. So let's have a look. Establishing the dominant hand on the hurley for the grip. The coach gets the child to leave the hurley on the floor. He distracts the child for a second. The child will then be asked to pick up the hurley off the ground. He will automatically pick the hurley up with his dominant hand. The second video is the sword fight. It's a fun game. You're going to really enjoy this. It's about movement of the feet and movement of the hands and uh, gripping the hurley again. So you're going to really enjoy that one, boys and girls. The sword fight is a good way of developing the child's wrists and footwork. In this little game, the child has to prevent the other boy from clipping his ankles. And the third video will be team pursuit. So let's have a look. The sword fight is a good way of developing the child's wrists and footwork. In this little game, the child has to prevent the other boy from clipping his ankles. So in conclusion, we need to remember for running, we need to get up on the balls of the feet, good knee lift, good arm action, Keep your body upright and always look ahead. And for the skills focus part, remember establishing the dominant hand, getting into the ready position, locking the two hands and bringing the hurley over your shoulder for the locked position and then you get your strike off and a good follow through. Thanks. Thank you very much boys and girls.